Hey, Juice, how you doing, man? That's good to hear. Saquon didn't do awful, just didn't do expectations. So I think Saquon will be back right where he's supposed to be. Especially when you have a new quarterback that's going to need to lean on the running game. Or back pass out of the backfield if the tight end is covered. So that is definitely uh, my answer. Uh, James, I can't wait till 8 o'clock. I was just staring at the box because it's the first time I had him in my hands. Um, not according to me. According to my Twitch stream, it says it's okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Uh, Dustin May. Um, is going to be a phenomenal pitcher. And then we were talking how pitchers really don't demand... Uh, the higher dollar that it used to. Um, I was snatching up a lot of Correa and Bregman and um, Altuve um, because the the cheating scandal has tainted their image and all their cards are a third of what they were this time last year. Uh, just like the other two teams on the bounty who have also been caught and fined for cheating in the past, eventually people will forget and the cards will be worth a ton again. Um, if you can get your hands on Ovechkin rookies, which Ovechkin rookies have always been pretty high. Um, I was telling people to buy the autographs, the non-rookie autographs, because autographs across the board will probably double when he breaks the record. And I, I have a feeling he's not going to leave till he breaks the record. He's too close to give up. I'm uh, just looking over the list of Bowman Sterling real quick. Seeing if there's anything I need to know, but it seems pretty straightforward. Cabrera. Thanks, Richie. Appreciate it, man. I love you. Uh, just an FYI, I got to play salesman for a brief moment. You know, I don't like to do this, but occasionally I, I do it. Um, if you are trying to get into a break and you are serious about baseball cards, there is a break at 10 o'clock today. It is a 2020 Tops Definitive three box case break. It's 24 spots guaranteed hit because it's going to be a hit break. Uh, it's less than 200. And you are guaranteed at least one card. Some boxes do have more than eight. I've seen them have as many as nine or ten. So there is a possibility you could end up with more than one. While it is slim, 
it's possible. Uh, so a guaranteed hit out of definitive for about 200 bucks is pretty good if you know what's in definitive. There is only eight spots left. We've already blown through 16 of them. Uh, so I just want to give an FYI to get that going. Sneaky pick for the Super Bowl, Buffalo. Buffalo wins the AFC East, gets a bye week first round, and ends up facing a team not ready for their defense uh, in the um, divisional round. It's true. I mean, I'm biased. I'm a Bills fan, but I actually can say it with all seriousness the year this year we're almost guaranteed the playoffs we made it two out of the last three um i truly believe with the way we've built this defense even with a mediocre offense we're at minimum getting through the first round i'm almost guaranteeing a bye week for the bills it's very possible we lose to the chiefs oh absolutely man I don't deny that the Chiefs could absolutely stuff us in a suitcase and send us home. No, no denial there. I mean, I'm not delusional. <laughs> I'm not delusional. Um, but you said sneaky pick. Uh, the Bills are sneaky good. Uh, Chiefs, phenomenal. I, I think the Chiefs could go many years consecutively. Um, I do think they need to beef up the defense just a little bit more to be on level with some of the other teams. Uh, but they have a fantastic base set of guys in their offenses. I mean, it's like the greatest show on turf when uh, the Rams did it. But instead of a prolific running back doing the work, you got a quarterback. C7 left for definitive. Marty's in. Mahomes is ungodly. I do not deny that. I have no delusions of the Bills other than I know for a fact we're going to be in the playoffs and I'm fairly confident we have a bye in the first round. It's true, Sean, it's true. <laughs> Who are the chefs? <laughs> Yep. Yeah, man. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So, that is a sneaky AFC team. Uh, I don't know who is going to be able to handle the Chiefs. I mean, you have a dynamic running back that they've chosen. They've got the receivers, obviously the quarterback. As long as Mahomes stays healthy, they're good to go. Oh, the Pats are, they're wrecked. They're done. The Bills have uh, shut down Newton before. I mean, our coach knows every one of Newton's tricks. He came from Newton's team. It's true, Sean. Brady does have more weapons than he's had in the past, but what are you going to do when Mike Evans starts running his mouth that he's not getting enough touches? When Godwin is cutting into it too much? Because Brady doesn't have a number one receiver. He has three number one receivers. And one of them is going to be his tight end. I, I don't believe Tampa added enough either. <laughs> All right, that's exactly what you tell Mike Evans. I just, uh, I, I, uh, it's going to be interesting. Mike is a guy who, when he doesn't get the ball, is vocal about it. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. If we have a season, it's going to be pretty dang interesting. O.J. Howard, Gronkowski, Cameron Brait. Don't sleep on Brait. Uh, Brait can do his thing when he needs to.
Uh, Buffalo has already announced no fans and no tailgating. So it's TV only. Good news is that means nothing's ever going to be blacked out. Now, mind you, Buffalo hasn't had a blacked out game in four years, three or four years. Um, but it'll be nice to be able to see every game. Yeah, yeah, a little T.O. opening his, his mouth, right? Yeah, <laughs> the tables do live to see the, another day. Well, no, we're still going to be breaking tables. They're just going to be in our backyards, not in the parking lot. Uh, how much do you want it? Or how much uh, did I pay for it? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sign the T. Yeah, we do all right, Sloth. <laughs> we do all right. Have I ever jumped through a table? I have not. Um, <laughs> I'm a big boy. I put people through tables with their consent. I am a designated tosser. <laughs> uh, this was a shirt that Tops gave us when we did the... Uh, yeah, right, DC Dudley. Um, that this, this is one of the shirts that Tops gave us for doing the break. They gave us a shirt, um, a really nice um, new era cap, and a polo, which I wear the polo a lot because it's a real nice polo. We got a uh, we got a swag bag for going there. We were all supposed to receive autographed cards from, um, from Pete Alonzo, but those were confiscated uh, before I could accept it. Raiders Nation, those guys are pretty crazy too. I like their uniforms better. The uh, spiked shoulder pads and the face paint. The Bills were one of their earliest uh, matchups too. So I was pretty bummed that it was canceled. A.A. Ron. Uh, Jason, I am going to politely disagree. They did the exact same thing that they did to Brett. They grabbed a guy early uh, and groomed him to replace Brett. Same thing here. Love is just it was grabbed because they, they saw something they liked and they're going to hold him in reserves. Aaron is not going anywhere. I am going to tell you for a fact Aaron is going nowhere. No, I agree. Wide receiver should have been the number one thing that they should have grabbed. Or a, a running back. Um, a dedicated running back. Uh, but th these GMs get paid a lot of money to know things that we don't. So I don't think it was a slight against Rodgers. Rodgers knows exactly how old he is. Um, and Rodgers like, joked about it. He's like, yeah, it's going to be a tequila night. Um, but if you read the rest of the quote... He wasn't talking about a tequila night because he was going to lose his job. He said it was going to be a tequila night because everybody was going to be calling him and asking what he thought. Um, so I, I'm not worried about that, that scenario. What's up, Hellbolt? Aaron Jones isn't bad. But think of who you could have got that early in the first. Technically late in the first, but early in the draft overall. Uh, yeah, sure is. Nobody's claimed it yet. I've been live for 17 minutes. Fair game. 
Um, so here's the thing, Sean, and I've I've sat down and I've watched a lot of Aaron Rodgers videos and I've listened to him on podcasts. Here's the deal with Aaron Rodgers. And I'm 99% certain I'm correct because I used to be a comedian and I know when people attempt humor. He wants to be funny, but he's inherently not funny. The reason I say that is a perfect example. Um, the R-E-L-A-X thing, when he's trying to sound like he was stoned and tell everyone to relax, R-E-L-A-X. That was him joking around trying to sound like a stoner. Then there was a thing about Bakhtari uh, slamming the beer and then pointing at Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers like, started sipping it and then put his finger up. What he was doing, like the, the wait a minute, he was imitating Archer and people didn't get that he was trying to be funny and imitating Archer. They just thought he couldn't pound a beer. He's a dork. He is. Um, he is a dork and he, he really tries to be funny. Uh, and that's like, yeah, Peyton Manning, he could be funny. Arch, Archer, hysterical, and he was trying to, to imitate that. And I get it because I saw how disappointed he was when it didn't go the way he wanted it to. And it's the same with a lot of other things that he does. He's he's attempting to be facetious, um, but it's not coming across that way. So when he's like, oh, I'm going to grab a bottle of tequila, I, he doesn't mean like, oh, it's over, I'm going to go get drunk. He's just trying to be cute. Um, I, I like Aaron Rodgers. I, he's not painting, he's not Peyton Manning, he's not Brett Favre, he's Aaron Rodgers. He's doing his own thing. Uh, but I got on against a dude, and I don't think he's going anywhere. He just needs uh, lessons in uh, comedic timing. <laughs> no, he's not top five all time. No, he's definitely not top, top five all time. You could argue he's top five current. You could easily put him in the top five current. Especially if you take away all the balls that his receivers dropped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never, ever, ever, ever. Let an athlete hold SNL except Peyton Manning. Yep, I agree. Peyton Manning was freaking hilarious. Tom Brady was terrible. And it's not just because I hate Tom Brady. I mean, the skits just weren't funny. What's up, Andy? I think I have a package for you. As in something to tear open on screen. I think these are yours. No, Barkley wasn't bad. <laughs> that's that's terrible. That was terrible. Uh, now? It would be open now. A lot of the ones that I have from earlier are going to be, um, later. So, get one and it gets done. Alright, this one's for Andrew. Uh, we were talking football, but we're going to jump into a little bit of hockey. So if you're watching the video and not watching us live and you hear us talking about football, well, you're missing out on a great conversation. And maybe next time you should watch us live. Stature by Upper Deck, 1920. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's uh, it's soccer on ice with sticks and pads. High Rose, three ninety nine. Cody Glass, one forty nine. Anders Lee, one forty nine. Zach Warinski, eighty five. Ryan Poling, 85. I think he just signed that one pop. 15 out of 15. That's Dylan Larkin. Nothing wrong with that right there. Yeah, Steven, I'll knock yours out right after this break. Suzuki. I definitely have yours from yesterday. Ooh, Edge or Marshall? I give Marshall for longevity. But I think Edge was more explosive earlier on. Dallin? Gansel? 399 Ginyak. 399 Haas. 149 Matt to Chuck. Matthew Fairplay, as we like to call him. Lane Bergman. Brother of Fat Bergman. Bolquist. That's going to be out of 199. And if you like that New Jersey Devil, you're absolutely going to love this one. Jack Hughes, out of 85. Eric Stahl. All right, sounds good. Olufsen, 399. Bork, 149. Aramov, 85. Out of 35, Vasilevsky. Megan Fox. Makayev. And good old Kirby Doc. Excellent. Bobby, I got you, man. You are welcome. That Hughes is the obvious highlight of that one. show up uh i did juice let me finish clearing out the ones from uh earlier today and yesterday like this one this one's from yesterday all right steven here you go man your wait is over This is for Steven. Hit Parade Graded Comic 2020 Wolverine Series 3. It's numbered 54 out of a hundo. 
What's up, Ryan? How are you doing? X-Men number three. 9.6 Magneto, Val Cooper, Nick Fury, uh, Myra Taggart, excuse me, Mick Taggart, and Acolyte's appearance. That's from 91. It's a pretty busy cover, and I like it. The Flash Edition Series 1. 11 out of a hundo. Uh, well, Ricky, that's a great question. I want to throw uh, a little something something in there, too. Uh, Flash 323, Reverse Flash Appearance, Creeper Backup Story, Flash vs. Flash. 9.0 from 1983. Uh, Ricky, in case you are feeling like you need a definitive fix, my 10 o'clock three box definitive case is not sold out. It's a guaranteed hit break and it's less than 200 a spot. So if you wanted to do uh, two Sapphire and maybe a buy-in for definitive, that would be about the same price. Just throwing it up there. Uh, it's a hit, uh, So what it means, it's a hit break, which means everybody that gets in is going to get guaranteed at least one card. Uh, what I'll do is I'll open the case. I will uh, type in all of the cards, and then we'll random the people and the cards together. Now, some of these boxes have been known to carry nine or ten cards in there. Um, so there is a chance you may, a slim chance, you may end up with more than one, but you're guaranteed at least one. No, they're they're less than two hundred, Ricky. It's like one ninety five a spot. What's up, Riel? All right, Robert. Your seven o'clock break is here exactly at seven. I don't think I could have timed it any better. You're welcome, Stephen. I think there's only six spots left, five or six spots left in the 10 o'clock break. Yeah, sure, I'll get rid of the uh, the list of sapphires. It's a zero now. Uh, yeah, Ricky, because it's a case break, it's a little less expensive than the box was because the case price is cheaper than the individual box. All right, uh, Robert. What would you like to see first, bud? Um, yeah, the spot break is tonight at 10. Let me double check to see how many spots I have left. Yep, I have six left. Uh, Juice, that's because I didn't put it up. I will be putting it up right after this break. All right, this is for Robert. We're kicking it off with Hit Parade Officially Licensed Edition, Autographed Official Hockey Puck. Series 7, 47 out of 50 is going to be the first one. What's up, Blue? Oh, I like this one. 
I already know who it is because I'm familiar with his signature. National Hockey League official game puck of Captain Jack Eichel. Number nine and then number 15 or vice versa. I don't know. He changes his number all the time, it feels like. So that is a solid start for the captain. 19 out of 50. Oh, Ricky. Don't look, Ricky. That right there is a Vegas Golden Knights Mark andre Fleury autographed puck. All right, two really good pucks right there. Then we hit up 1920 Black Diamond. Ah, he was chasing Marc Andre Fleury. Excellent. Ricky, it looks like you're going to have to close your checkbook. It's not going anywhere. Max Jones. Blake Wheeler, 249. Brett Hull, All-Star Edition. Out of just 25. Nick Suzuki, Manufactured Patch. OEL, out of 30. And last but not least, Bill Ranford. Out of 99. All right, good stuff. All of it, everything about that break, both pucks. And that box. Good break. Uh, don't worry about the Marvel premiere. I can find you that one. I have a, a feeling nobody's working from home this weekend. Friday is the least likely day I have to worry about somebody processing out from under me. During the rest of the week, they do it just to uh, get a head start on the following day. So today is pretty safe.
Oh, yeah, that wasn't even my idea. That was all Sean. Oh, I'm good, Hellbolt. I am very excited to be working today. I was very eager to come in. I'll be very eager to go home at the end of the night. So I can tell you right now, very unlikely I'll be working past 1 o'clock tonight for anybody. I have uh, a good portion of my family coming over tomorrow. It is my younger twin brother's birthdays. And I am hosting... I'm going to be doing a slow-cooked five-hour pulled pork. A charcuterie board that is probably going to make half of you faint if you uh, were to ever find out what was on it. And uh, my wife is doing her herb-encrusted goat cheese uh, pizza sauce dip. Uh, no, I don't smoke. I don't use a smoker. Um, I'm actually going to crockpot this one. Just because it's easy. I'm not being artisan. I'm just throwing that one together. <laughs> Rolly, do you live in Buffalo? <laughs> My charcuterie boards are uh, ridiculous. They're, they're, it's, the, oh, God. What I am going to spend just on a charcuterie board, maybe twice the size of this, will be more than the rest of the entire party put together, including drinks. I love smoked pork butt. It is good. Uh, let me check, Aaron. Uh, yeah, I do have that. I will put you into rotation. All right, Detroit, I'm looking yours up too, bud. Definitive is 10 p.m. Eastern. Leaf, Leaf Archives. Leaf, Leaf. Yep, got it. I'll throw you in rotation too. All right, good man. We're getting we're getting these knocked out. I like that. Uh, no, James, those are actually pretty inexpensive. The um, the I mean those. 30 bucks a half ounce. I don't know. Something like that. Um, but my... Uh, what is it? I get this really good and I can't remember. It's like San Marita or San Margaret or San... San something. I can't remember. I get it cut live. Um, but I do uh, prosciutto. And the prosciutto is literally cut in front of me. It's not a prepackage. Um, so that is like twenty-five dollars a pound. I get about a half pound. All right, Douglas. Twenty nineteen Marvel premiere. One of my favorite products. Uh, we pulled. I, I mean, if you listen, if this is your thing, if you're watching this video because this is your thing, uh, go watch my video from yesterday where I pull hands down the nastiest Ghost Rider uh, any of us have ever seen. And anybody who is in the chat now will immediately erupt with, oh my God, that was the best. Because, oh my God, that was the best. Uh, easily top five 
one of the top five things pulled ever out of this product. And I believe even Wayne would agree with that one if he sees that video. So, Wayne, if you're seeing this video, watch the one from yesterday. Uh, but this one is pretty good. I think I do recognize this artist. That is uh, clearly Superman. Clearly, that is uh, Superman fighting Wonder Woman. Uh, Bizarro Superman fighting Wonder Woman. Uh, Michael, I'd have to look. Yep, Randy Martinez. I had a feeling it was Martinez. Uh, the way he does his backgrounds are very consistent in this product. Yeah, all right, Mario. <laughs> all right, it's nice venom piece there. And then we have uh, Drax the Destroyer out of a hundo. Killmonger out of, I believe, 30. It is. Craven as Orion. And Dr. Voodoo. This is like the third Dr. Voodoo in five tins that I pulled. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. I like the effects on this one. Good uh, use of depth here. Sam Shin. You're welcome, man. Oh, that's uh that's a solid tin right there. That was that was very good. Absolutely agree with you. That was a good break. Uh, let me check. Nineteen fifty six. No. I'm going to put the list up as soon as I post this video. So give me just a couple of seconds. I'll show everybody what I got. Then we're going to keep going because I have a, a bunch from earlier today I need to get through. Yeah, Doug, I will tell you the same thing that I tell uh, Wayne. Anytime you want to order Premiere, I am going to bump you pretty far up the list. I'm not going to make you wait. That is the one of the exceptions to my rules, that I don't make people wait for Premiere. It's just too awesome. <laughs> as long as somebody enjoys it, man. Um, it's funny, a friend of mine used to work for Marvel, um, and, well, I, a friend, he was a friend of mine, I haven't talked to him in years, uh, when I, ever since I moved, we fell out of contact, uh, but he was the one that was going to be making, uh, illustrating my comic book, um, but it's funny, because I can literally be like, I need, um, the Incredible Hulk fighting the Punisher, and he'll be like, give me six hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah for me it's like 200 bucks he'll draw me anything in the world is with color he charges everyone else a heck of a lot more all right here's a list Take a screenshot because I do have to make this go away. I am um, highlighting and copying that name right now. All right, it's going away in five, four, three, two, one. I'm not going to lie, I'm totally pasting it, looking at it as we speak. Oh, 
that stuff's awesome. Dig it. I like it. All right, I will give my buddy Steve a plug. So Steve Geiger, amazing person. I've known him and his wife since before they were married, since before their kid uh, was born. I knew them way back right around when they first met. But Steve is a great guy. Uh, check out his stuff. He's fantastic. Highly recommend him. All right. Uh, let me see. I'm going to do these probably in the order that people requested them. Aaron. Aaron, if you're ready, we'll knock it out, man. Just give me the thumbs up. All right. Four buybacks. Aaron's ready. Uh, just got a message from Jacob. I'm going to throw Jacob in the mix, too. Let me find his. There he is. Get that in there. All right, Aaron, any preference on what you want to see first? After uh, Aaron, we're going to do Detroit. After Detroit, we'll knock out Jacob. We are rolling, and it's great. I love it. Stevlik. Copying that name, too. Ooh, I get to choose. I like when I get to choose. Makes me feel like I'm part of the break. Oh, Stevlik's like photorealistic type stuff. He's like portrait. Aaron. This 1957 Topps Football PSA 7 Plus Edition Series 190 out of 154 is yours. We're going to follow it up with an autographed mini football helmet. Bill Stout. Dickie Mogul, back for the 49ers. Is it me or does he kind of look like a young um, Matt Damon? Six interceptions on the year. Third year, three years, twelve interceptions. It's not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad run, especially for those times when they threw a third of the time. Not bad numbers. All right, sixty-seven out of a hundo, series twelve.
No one has more hits than Hit Parade. That would be Tyreek Hill. Yeah, he's kind of good. There you go. JSA. Uh, Riel, uh, do you have one from yesterday? Or from earlier today? You are welcome, Aaron. Okay. Yep, I will get it when I'm done with the ones from uh, yesterday and earlier today. Those are top priority. Detroit. What order do you want these in? Some sneaky good ones in here. Actually kind of excited. see it. I think that works out perfect. All right, Detroit in the house. 2020 Tops Archives. Retired edition. Here comes Hank Aaron. Raleigh Fingers, greatest mustache in all of baseball. It's out of 50. And yes, it is that nice. Captain America, who played for Montreal, out of 54. Leaf Flash Football 2020. No, man, you don't see anybody signing anything nice anymore. Except for Admiral Schofield. He has a great one for basketball. Uh, somebody in, in baseball that has a really dope one, too. You can tell he practices. Hockey players typically have good ones. Keyshawn Vaughn. C.J. Henderson. Kendrick Rogers, 10 out of 10. 
Joshua Kelly. Out of 25. Jordan Love. Out of 15. Listen. I absolutely do not hate what Jordan Love did here. Jay Love, Jay Hart, I, you know what? To me, that's acceptable. He's one of the exclusions, exceptions, to the you need to sign your own name. Jay Love, I love it. I love it. I dig it, right? It's, you know what? You got your last name is Love, or if your last name is Hart, and you want to draw Hart, God bless you, I accept it. You are one of the exceptions. You are one of the exceptions. Go ahead on J-Love. Right? And there you go, man. Like, that one is acceptable. I will, uh, judges? All right, we'll accept that. But Zion W? Nope, Mr. Williamson. I want both L's. 2019 Leaf Ultimate Beesball. Kicks off with 25 out of 25, Michael Bush. Nathan Patterson, out of 25. Logan Davidson. And if there weren't enough Logans, Logan Wyatt. Yep, Mike, I got you, buddy. Gunnar Henderson, 10 out of 10. And Dylan Carlson. There you go. Jacob, here you go, man. Jacob notified me via email.
All right, let me just uh, answer two quick emails real quick. Hopefully get those people to jump in and get theirs handled early. The earlier I get the uh, the breaks from earlier today done, the more time we have for personals later. So let me take the time to get it finished before the first break. Then we have the rest of the day to go as planned. All right, let me see if I got Michael's. I do. I got Michael's as well. I'm putting Mike in the rotation as well. Good stuff. What's up, Ice King? Oh, man, I'm good. I am just tearing through breaks right now. No pun intended. I definitely will. All right, this one is for Jacob. Um, we will kick it off with Tops Clearly Authentic. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling that box. Uh, 25 out of a hundo. Hit Parade Graded Coin Series 2 All-American Edition. It's true. And you know what? I had tacos yesterday, so it could be gas. Um, 1995. Proof 69. Niggle. Uh, Jake's like, he has a feeling it could be a boom or be gas. And I said, uh, I had tacos yesterday, so it could be gas. It's just a fact of life. A fact of life. Because you take the good, you take the bad. And I'll let you finish the rest. All right, now tops clearly authentic 2020. Doug, you know what? You and I are probably the only ones old enough in the chat to even know what that's from. Out of only 10, Josh Rojas. Rookie auto. Told you I had a feeling. Out of 10. Yeah, Judge is all right. <laughs> Oh, Greek, you're older than me? Okay. So then there is a very small handful.
Yep, I've got you guys by 10 years. Um, I don't think there's many better than him. I definitely think he is top five. Lindor has to be in the in the argument for best shortstop out there. You have to put Lindor as arguably the best shortstop. If you look at everything considered. I would take him over Correa any day of the week. All right, Jedi, then I'm a few weeks older than you. No, it's true. I agree, Doug. Yeah, Doug's got me by seven. This list is not going to be accurate because I haven't processed any orders. Just a heads up. Oh, there's a ton of people that like the Astros this year. Just not other teams. Yeah, Greek, you got me by four years, friend. I take a screenshot. It is going away in five, four, three, two, one. Ah, uh, the Rockies are due to do good. All right, this is for Michael. Didn't realize, Michael asked about his break. I didn't realize I had it behind me. So, uh, caught in him in the email. Here it is. Baseball 2020 by Hit Parade 1956 Graded Edition Series 2 47 out of 171. Lawrence graded six Brooks Ulysses Lawrence Spook Jacobs Grayback Mountain. Right. 
<laughs> All right, Greek. Nice. Yeah, Greek, I know exactly what you're talking about. Grab a box of 90 score football for like eight dollars. Yeah, Doug, I uh, I actually did see that article. Now, at the auction, did you get rid of your whole collection or just a majority of it? Or just a sliver of it? That's pretty dope. I like it. Uh, so I believe oh, I'm just waiting on Tyler. Hold on. <laughs> Locke, we're not talking about last week. <laughs> nice. Hey, Lance, how are you doing? All right, I'm going to start processing all of the orders that you guys just put in. So bear with me if I'm a little silent. It's because I am working on the computer. Uh, Matt, I'm 40. Sure can. I'm going to warn you, the list is absolutely incorrect. You're welcome.
missing here? Uh, why is it hard to find Baseball Series 1? Probably because... Um... Tops did a million card break of it in Dallas where we blew through I don't know what was it three hundred cases I don't know a substantial portion of that run was broke live as a uh as a party by tops themselves. Plus the short prints, the super short prints out of that sell for hundreds of dollars. Ooh, excuse me. Like the polar bear card. I don't even know what the polar bear card is up to now.
Uh, I can tell you the one by us said that they were sort of phasing them out because I asked the same question when they moved them back to the electronics area. They said they're only going to be carrying select stuff. It just got too ridiculous uh, carrying the regular sports. And they actually, uh, the area in the electronics department that had all the cards is now starting to grow over and they're swapping out the uh, tags with just more Marvel stuff. Uh, Ricky, you're going to be up right after the break, just as an FYI. Oh yeah, Eric, that's what everybody's doing. Very few people are actually buying them to open them. All right, let's finally get into this Bowman Sterling. The time has finally arrived.
2020 Bowman Sterling Baseball. It's a six box. David Adams Card World Live 30 spot random team break. It's going to be my first look for the product. Let's get to randoming. We're going to go five times. Eight. All right, uh, Diamondbacks, Louis P, Mariners, Francisco O, Twins, James D, Rays, Thomas B, Rockies, Anthony K, Larry B gets the Red Sox, uh, Jason M C, the Mets, Craig C, the Cardinals, Anthony K, the Angels, uh, Jason Mo, the Padres, Larry B, the Cubs, Phillies go to Thomas B, Orioles, Brian F, Todd W, the Marlins, Brandon O, the Rangers, John V, the Pirates. Fernando, you get the Dodgers. Jason Moe, the Brewers. Lionel C, the Tigers. Dean E, the Yankees. Clayton has the Athletics. Eric Z, the Blue Jays. Justin L, the White Sox. David K, the Royals. Francisco, the Indians. The Astros go to Andrew G. Nationals to Daniel S. Reds to Craig C. Braves, David I. Giants, John V. Uh, Danica, about what time did you purchase it? All right, all three bounties today are baseball. It's Yankees, Red Sox, and Astros autos. Five autos per master box. Oh, you're all good. Uh, <laughs> no, Danica, you're fine. How long ago did you order them? Because if it was um, after 4 p.m. Eastern, it wouldn't be until Monday. All right, five very happy mini boxes inside of each master. I mean, I wouldn't say the best ever. I'd say I'm painfully average, but thank you. Bias. Ah, uh, Libertor. Out of 199, Savali. Sammy Siani. To the Pirates. Jung and Kirilov. Let me just separate these a little bit better. There we go. Uh, Danica, I might have what you're looking for. After this break, I'll take a look. May. Brent Batty.
Dems be the Mets. Sarenia. Michael Bush, Dodges. Gonsolin and Allen. Jason Dominguez. And that is a bounty for the Yankees. Dean. Dean, I've got a spin of the wheel with your name on it. Murph Dunn Riley Green for Detroit All right, box one down Nothing to complain about there We'll go to box two. Bobby Witt, Jordan Yamamoto, 199, Gus Varlin, it's to the A's, Atleticos, Munoz, and Garcia. That's a Gavin Lux rookie auto for the Dodgers. There's Gavin Lux non auto rookie for the Dodgers. Don Alvarez, Camposano out of 99, 
Joe Ryan. Pitcher for the Rays. About a half hour. Alex Young. Hilliard. Robert. Burke. Espino. Land of Cleves. Much like Dennis Rodman, Daniel Espino likes to explore the space of the card with his auto. And you know what? I like it. K. And Cease. Blade. Oh, wow. One out of three, Jordan Alvarez and Boba Shett. Somebody after this uh, randoming is going to be really, really happy and somebody is going to be really, really upset. But that is one out of three. That's a big one. That is a big one. It is also another bounty. So whoever wins gets the bounty as well. My oh my. Right. On to box three. Uh, Toronto is Eric Z, and the Astros is Andrew G. Uh, watch your language, family friendly chat, man. Hunter Harvey, Toro, Quang uh, Kyung Kim, Quinn Priester out of 75. That goes to the Berg. Gavin Lux. And Akiyama, everybody in that pack was a rookie except Priester. Let me rephrase that. Every card in that pack was marked rookie except Priesters. Out of 99, Nate Pearson. Volp for the Yankees. If only that Dominguez was pulled second. But it was not. Okay. It's 
all good, man. That's why I give everybody a warning. Double A. There's an angel. Yep, after this, man. Another Dominguez. That's two out of three boxes. Kalanick got a 25. Post Malone for Arizona. That's out of 150. Four. Robinson, Jordan Yamamoto, out of 125. Young and K. Okay, Harvey, Toro, and Lugo, and that will complete the bounties. So there you go, Red Sox. You are due a bounty spin as well. Solak 199. Nick Solak out of 50. You know what? This so gold is Usually what color they will do for something short print, usually out of 10 or out of 50. 
Um, this particular card layout and how they accent it with the color. This is probably one of the sharpest gold variants when it comes to eye appeal that I've seen in a long time. Usually they just throw gold in the background and that's it. Uh, but the way the card is laid out and the way they fade to the gold, actually a good looking card. It stands out, but it's not too overpowering like a lot of the other gold parallels in other sets. So, good stuff, man. I like it. Double A, Marsh, Vargas, <laughs> I like his auto. You know who that is, that's Vargas. Dig it, dig that a lot. That man hired a graphic designer to tell him how to sign his cards. Season Lux. Jordan Yamamoto. Another one for Miami. Box five. <laughs> right? Yeah, man. Get a graphic designer. Give your signature some eye appeal. Make it collectible because it's cool. Especially for non-cards, like memorabilia, like signed gloves, people aren't going to recognize the auto unless they know what it looks like. If you've got a BS auto that's just a scribbled V, nobody's going to know who that is. Get somebody to teach you to sign it right. That way somebody looks at a glove and is like, I don't need to cheat. I know exactly who that is. Pena, out of 150, to the Astros. Andy Vaughn. Uh, Henry, this is a group. Luzardo, 199. J.J. Blade. Another solid auto from the young prospect. Another Siani.
Bryson Stott. Philly Phillies. That's out of 125. Kyle Lewis. And Noose. Toglia. Here's a good one. All right, we're going to move on to the last box of the break before we get to some randoming as well. As some bounties. Hunter Bishop. Out to the Giants. The Us. Out of 199, Nolan Jones. Matthew Walner signs his auto with a protractor. Out of just 25 to Minnesota. Braden smoking a pancake. Zarenia Gold. Brady McConnell.
All right, last mini box of the break. Of what has turned out to be a really phenomenal break. If we're going to be serious about it. Jake Rogers, 99. Jaron Duran. I think I'm going to call him Jaron Duran. Just because I can. Jaron, if you don't like being called Jaron Duran, then uh, give me a call, buddy. Uh, Mookie's got my number. Just ask him for it. <laughs> nice. All right, little recap. We're going to have to random this off between uh, the Blue Jays and the Astros. Winner of that is going to be also getting the bounty. And then, of course, there was uh, Jason Dominguez and Jason Dominguez. Also a bounty. And the Red Sox, you also hit a bounty as well. All right, it's unfortunate. I hate to have to do it, but uh, gotta gotta do it. Um, I'm also going to include the bounty spins on this video as well. Uh, it's gonna be a coin toss since it's only two players. Let me actually show you the card. Uh, per the late night rules that I set up. I don't know, four, five, seven months ago. Uh, top is always heads. Bottom is always tails. And if the card goes like this, left is always heads. And right is always ta tails. So. Uh, one, one coin toss. For all the marbles, you got a 50-50 shot. All right, one virtual flip of a coin. Good luck, you too. Survey says, Tails, it is going to Toronto. All right, Toronto, that's Eric Z. Uh, you will also be receiving a spin. Yeah. <laughs> Two men enter, one man leaves, unfortunately. Uh, all right, give me a second to just write a note real quick. It pains me to do this. It really does. This is the part that sucks. But unfortunately, that is going to the Buffalo Blue Jays. First up, we're going to go for the Yankees spin. The Yankees, that's Dean E. Here you go. All right. 
19, you got a $10 store credit headed your way. Uh, next spin is going to be for the Red Sox. Ah, uh, that's Larry B. Good luck. You will also be receiving a $10 store credit. Uh, and last but certainly not least, Eric, the winner of the, uh, the Blue Jays slash Astros card, technically has the first Astros auto. Good luck. What's in the suitcase? Elite Extra Audition. That's what's in the suitcase. All right, so it was random, that was done. Three spins, those were done. All right, that's it for the break. That was a fun 38 minutes. from earlier today let me grab yours and uh danica let me look up yours real fast because i said i would i try to be a man of my word i intend to keep all my promises Uh, nope, they just pulled one box. Uh, nope, Henry, I only have two of those. Uh, 2020 Hit Parade Signature Series Graded Comic Series 3. Uh, yeah. Danica, I can break yours live. I happen to have one on hand. <laughs> Henry. 
Sorry, I wasn't going to say anything, man, because, you know, you're a valued customer. <laughs> but I might have grumbled while I did it. <laughs> All right, for Tyler. Uh, we have Hit Parade 2020 Autographed Glove, Series 2, 87, out of 100. And yes, for those who made comments before and were worried about my well-being, I did get a brand new razor blade today for my box cutter. So no more slipping. <laughs> Ryan, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Uh, it's TriStar Authentic. I got to find... Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's going to be a tough one to show on camera. That is an F, an R, an E, and a D. So it's Fred. M. C. G. R. I. F. F. Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff. <laughs> the crime dog. <laughs> I'm McGruff the crime dog. There you go. Good old Ken Kniff. I mean, Fred McGriff. the easiest boxes to open, I can tell you that. about going after this break. Ooh, wait. I won't be able to fit yours in before the next live one. How do you feel about being the first, <laughs> sorry, uh, the first break after the group? Uh, the group break at nine is only three boxes of sterling. So it's uh, less than half the time. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm in it. I've been in it all week. Can't you tell? You can't hear it.
All right, man, thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to fit your case in before, so we'll make yours first afterwards. Plus, now that I know what I'm looking for in the Sterling, this next break is going to go a lot faster. Oh, yeah, dude, this chair, it's its a cheap chair. It's not an expensive chair. I just spent uh, 25 bucks on a set of five rollerblade casters. So it's actually got rollerblade wheels on it. With some, uh, what I'd have to assume would be Ibex seven maybe bearings not super clean I'd say like a five or a seven all right this here is for Uh, Ricky, Ricky. Yep, it's for Ricky. Ricky from North Dakota. Uh, we're going to kick things off. He is new, actually. I, uh, brand new to the scene. Um, buybacks. He is a fan of hockey. Uh, so uh, he's hitting up a couple of buybacks. He asked me to rub tuck all over him. Lethal. That man is lethal with the puck. Uh, so Ricky is is uh, new to the show. Said he's uh, watched a few, but hasn't really purchased anything. So he gave me a credit card and said, I want two baseball boxes and some buybacks. So I grabbed him four boxes buybacks and two of the least expensive baseball uh, boxes I could find I grabbed him two sapphire so as long as he doesn't check his card statement we'll be good Ricky don't check your card statement I promise they were inexpensive though that is a relative term Mikey Madano out of 25. Well, didn't expect that. Griffin Reinhardt, rookie gem out of 10. Looks a lot like Sam. So here's something I've noticed, and I'm going to say it before I look at the card. Anytime they only put one, let me give you an example. Look at these boxes side by side. This one has two things of padding in the bottom. This one, as you can see, only has one. Historically. The ones that are missing that extra padding in there, nine times out of ten, are absolute game breaker, stunner, showstopper autos. Now that I've said that, this is going to be Johnny Bumankle. However, traditionally, if they're deep in there like that, they're usually really good. Pierre-Luc Dubois, out of 199. 
Johnny Bum Ankle out of 10. So, like I said, uh, yeah, usually it does. You are correct. Like I said, like I said, whenever it's missing, they seem to be the bigger hits. Now, Ricky, does this go into the collection or does this go to your eBay? Rudolph Balsair. Guarantee I won't buy it if it is. Two out of five. All right, I am going to ask you guys for some help. Is it Sagan or Seguin? It's Sagan. Sagan. Okay. Because I immediately want to pronounce it like it's French. Sagin. Just saying. Sagin rolls off the tongue better. That's how it would be if it was pronounced the French way. Szechuan, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, that's way funnier than it should have been. <laughs> oh, you're a jerk. Every time I see that, I'm going to think Szechuan. <laughs> Tyler Szechuan. Oh, that might be his new name. Oh, uh oh, here we go. Let's see if this is true. Now look it. It was right the first one. It was right the first time. Right? I was correct the first time it was Wayne Gretzky. Let's see if what if my theory is correct. I'm saying nine times out of ten. Taylor Hall. I'm right. Man, these cards right here. If I could sum up these cards in two words, I would sum them up by saying they stink. They stink. Well, my theory is correct, so there you go, guys. There's a little tip. <coughs> if I'm opening them and you notice it's in there deep as opposed to right at the surface, you can bet there's something hot in there. I think I've cracked Upper Deck's code. Yeah, <laughs> Mike, I'm sure, man. All right.
right, let's look at these inexpensive baseball boxes. Uh, Hit Parade Sapphire Baseball Series 2, 6 out of 50. Good old Szechuan. Ah, that is just too good. That's just too funny. That is just too funny. Forty out of fifty. Twenty fourteen Chris Bryant Prospect Auto Mint Nine. This patch is nasty. It's from Top Dynasty, by the way. Uh, hold on, you know what? That is my input cord that keeps snagging. Let me tuck. Let me, Alex, tuck that cord real quick. Here we go. It's Juan Solo. That patch, though. It's a Juan of Juan. Ah, ah, ah. It's a Juan of Juan Juan. Uh, this has got to be last year. 2019, yep. That is in its original Topps Dynasty sealed case. I mean, honestly, Ricky, that was uh, one of the worst breaks I've ever been a part of. I want to apologize right now. You deserve a full refund. We should probably just keep these here and uh, save you the embarrassment of having to have those sent to you. How awful that was. You're welcome. First one of the day, yeah. <clears throat> and it's 9.02, so just in time for the other break.
How many Gretzkys have I pulled for you, Ricky? Twenty twenty Bowman Sterling Baseball three box Dave Adams Card World Live six spot random division break. Five. Nine. All right, Stephen, the NL West Dodgers. Arizona, San Diego, Colorado, San Francisco. Don, you have the AL Central and the AL East. That's Yankees, Tampa, Boston, Toronto, Baltimore, Detroit, KC, White Sox, Cleveland, and Minnesota. Tracy B, you have the NL Central. St. Louis, Cincy, Milwaukee, Cubbies, and the Berg. Uh, Robert. What's up, buddy? You have the AL West. That's my Astros. Oakland, the Angels, Texas, and Seattle, while uh, James gets the NL East, which is the Mets, Philly, Miami, Washington, and Hotlanta. Well done, I hit two Dominguez's out of the six box, so that means mathematically I should hit one out of the three, right? That's how it works. It's math, right? Uh, I think we only saw one Bobby Witt, and it was a non-auto in the last one, which means we're due for a Bobby Witt auto in this one. That's right. Hellbolt, that's exactly what I'm saying. If it doesn't happen, don't blame DC. Blame the new math. Blame Common Core. That's what gave me the answer. Alvarez. Hilliard. Robert. Schmoke and a pancake. Lux, Akiyama, there you go, Ryan's got one for sale. Brady McConnell, for the Royals with cheese.
Christian Robinson. Out of 50, Vargas. Adley, Aaron Ashby, That's typically, traditionally, a very good color. Out of 75, Zach Collins. How do you feel about the out of 75 Dominguez? Are we good with that math? Good old math. Always there when you need it. It's the only thing with an actual definitive answer. There you go, Don. I am so happy you are feeling better and are able to be back. That is a welcome back gift. Courtesy of our karma. Jake Sanford. I cannot wait till his son starts playing.
Spencer Howard out of 50. Six seconds left. That's nice, Greek. Very nice. There's Robbie Pawson. He was absent from the last one. Ah, Greek, I say let him play. Behind this card is some cracked ice. Hey, there's a Dominguez base. It's going to be out of 10. Oh, there it is. Jonathan India, Nick Lodolo, and Hunter Green. Cincy, Cincy, and Cincy. There's no randoming this bad boy. It is all NL Central. There you go, Tracy. man let them play let them play there's a bobby witt base hunter bishop May. Huff. Huff on a 150. Bruchette and Gratterall. All right, last box. Espino.
Yep. You're welcome, everyone. You are welcome. Uh, Marco Luciano out of 75. And Gus Varland out of 99. Nick Solax, rookie, and Diaz. JJ Goss. Nick Lodolo, out of 75, headed over to Cincy to go with the triple. All right, last mini box of D Break. Joe Ryan. Those are the gems of the break. Swayze, I'll definitely have time. You're welcome, Don. Thank you for uh, hanging out, enjoying yourself, and jumping in the break, man. I appreciate it. Uh, the NL East. Uh, Miami got an auto. He has no audio. Let me double check. 
No, maybe that was Tampa. Uh, yep, one Braves. Yep, one Braves. Water is so great. Henry, do you have a uh, preference on what goes first? <laughs> Gary, I got it. Yep. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. That's some uh, high quality H2O. All right. Well, we're obviously going to start with Marvel Premiere then. Uh, I'm going to do the case last. This is for Henry, or at least what you see is the first half of it. Uh, we we're going to kick it off with 2019 Marvel Premiere. Just because uh, Henry said you can do it in whatever order you want. Well, you guys should know DC by now. He's going to jump immediately on Premiere. Ooh. A four panel. They took advantage of the four panel to give you a full body view from basically just below the knees up of the Black Panther. And a profile. Envo is the artist. Straight on profile. in America, out of a hundo, kingpin, out of 30, I'm sorry, 50, that's Morbi, or excuse me, Morbius, color box, and how about Doc Ock, wow, that's great, I dig the background, 
That's gonna be by, I don't know, Raiden? Star Wars Chrome Perspectives Resistance versus the First Order. We got three of these. So, I have a nerd joke for you. Uh, I was hanging out with my son today, and we were playing. Uh, one of the things we were playing was Star Wars. Oh, uh, Admiral Akbar, played by Tim Rose. That is a beauty out of 150. That is a resistance auto. Um, so back to the story. Chewbacca out of 99. Um, so we were playing, he was we played Ghostbusters, we played a little actual outside soccer. Um, and we were playing Star Wars, and he's obsessed with with uh the pilots so he's like i'm going to be anakin you be poe dameron and i was like james i am more snap wexley than i am poe dameron and i had to show him a picture of snap wexley for him to understand and uh he agreed it was funny but it also hurt my heart a little bit Oh, no, not at all, Chris. He's like, yeah, you're him. I was like, oh, okay. Thanks, bud. I was just dad joking you, but see how you turn that one around on me. I like to think he says I look like him just because of the beard. I'm, uh... I'm just holding on to the fact in my head it's the beard that make us look alike. Not the fact that I also cannot fit into a flight suit. Han Solo out of $2.99. Enjoy your breakfast, Ryan. Allegiant General Pride out of two ninety nine. See, guys, this is why I try to knock out all of the previous breaks uh, early so that when people like Chris jump in and like, oh, are you full? Nope. Got all the busy stuff out of the way. 
I try to have everything done by the 10 o'clock break. That is my everyday goal, is to have all previous orders from the, uh, the, the pre-orders and the day before done by 10. That way, when that break is over, I can go to lunch, come back, and do non-stop personals. Major Von Reg, two ninety nine. Han Solo fell over. Uh, Captain Peavy, out of fifty. Colonel Datu out of 150. All right, that was Box Uno. Now it's time for Box Dos. something out of 99 at the end of this officer candia out of 99 three nyan numbs in that bo in that pack, three in that one pack. I mean, I love him as much as the next guy, but that's a little excessive for a guy you killed off camera. Dumases. Out of one fifty, Beaumont Kin. here. Trudgeon out of 25. It is Vanette Robinson out of 50 as Lieutenant Tice.
Poe Dameron out of 299. That would be a sketch card. One of one. By Angel Avias. So, Van City won. Admiral Statura out of 299. All right, box three. PV out of 150. Candia, two ninety nine. Supreme Leader Snoke, two ninety nine. That is Kate Fleetwood as Chief Petty Officer Lin Met. Hmm. That's a terrible font. Unamo. Look how awful that font is. Absolutely terrible. But that is an official 
First Order Auto out of 25. Supreme Leader Snoke out of 99. Maz K Kanata out of 299. and the next part of the break hit parade basketball 1920 limited edition series 28 box excuse me case 7 out of 10 too tight. Five out of a hundo. D'Angelo Russell, rookie auto out of two ninety nine. from Prestige. rookie auto from Don Ross Optic <coughs> 32 out of a hundo
Team USA, 10 out of 10 from Flawless, Shaquille O'Neal. Three out of a hundo. Ah, it goes to the person who bought it because this is a personal break. Normally, it would go to the team we played the most games for. Joel Embiid out of 149. Manuscript. That's from Excalibur Basketball, 2017. Eighty-seven out of a hundred. Jaron Jackson Jr. from Select out of 99. Seventy three out of a hundo. Dumboya Spectro Rookie out of one forty nine. Twenty one out of a hundo. Junior, rookie from Select, doesn't appear to be numbered. Uh, Alvarez. Dominguez and uh, some turd from Boston. I don't remember who it was. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Twelve out of a hundred. Wendell Carter Jr. That's ten out of ten. Uh, it's a great question. As soon as this break ends, I'm going to take a look. Four out of a hundred. Paul Pierce out of twenty five.
That's out of National Treasures. All right, then I'm going to create the spreadsheet and we're going to knock it out at 10. Should be fun. All right, Henry, thank you for allowing me to open that. first up after the break if you're still hanging around oh man you'll be before my lunch dude The good news is the uh, spreadsheet's pretty quick to make. Happy Friday, brother is right. Thank you, man. I've needed this Friday for a while. Take care, Gary. Have a good weekend. Be safe. I want to see you on Monday.
All right, give me two minutes. I got to fill up my water bottle and I'll return. Okay, here it is. Uh, you're right, Ryan. I was taken aback when I saw the name. I was like, oh my goodness, he's he's in. Sanitize the old hands. That is correct. Yep. Um, when I start the the video, I'll uh, I'll repeat all the rules again. But yep, that's exactly what's gonna happen. <clears throat> 2020 Topps Definitive Collection Baseball. This is a three box case. Dave and Adams Card World Live 24. Spot Random Hit Break. These are the 24 lovely people that have managed to jump in on this fantastic break. So what's going to happen is, I am going to open up the case. I am going to list everything that we pull in column B. I will then jump back here onto this screen where you will see me random uh, column A and put it into column uh, D. And then I'll random column B and put it into column E to match it up with its new owner. If for some reason we do have more than 24 hits, which uh, has been known to happen, we've had a couple of boxes that have had a, an extra hit or two in them, uh, those will be random to everybody in the break uh, at the end of this uh, end of the first uh, randoming. So, uh, again, here is all 24. Good luck, everybody. And this right here is the case good luck everybody this should be an extremely large amount of fun 
You know stuff is good when it's packed with an extra wall surrounding it. Make sure I have enough things to protect these before I start. You should do it. Ah, Ricky. You know you got to. I mean, you're the one who chose not to be in it. All right, here we go. We will kick it off with Lorenzo Kane out of 150. Out of 35, Chavez. Out of 10, Mark Grace. Out of 10, Bryce Harper, gold frame. Ah, Ricky, I see what you did there. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Vlad Guerrero, Bo Bichette, Dual Auto Relic. like this one out of five out of five it's Ozzy Canseco's brother Out of 25, Dylan Cease. And last but certainly not least, out of 10, how about this patch for Jacob deGrom? That is box uno. Let's go to dose. Yeah, I get it, man. That is, uh, a lot of people share that sentiment. Well, this first card is going to tick a lot of people off, and I like it. One on one Al Duve. Out 
out of 15. What up, fam? Out of five, Robin Yunt. Thank you, McGinnis. Here's a card that puts it in perspective. Jacob deGrom, 18 and 19. NL Cy Young winner. Just going to type that while you guys look at that. Liked him better as an Astro. That's out of 35. Ah, oh, this is cool. I like this one. Out of 25. Good old Ryan Sandberg. Out of 25, A.J. Puck. Ricky is going to not like this one, that's for sure. All rise.
We're saving those for the last box. Those are in here, along with the Dodgers. Sean, during all of those day breaks that you broke with him and then didn't buy anything with me at night. That's my guess. Would you like to know how nice this one is? Rocking the belly jersey. You can actually see the logo right there. Yes, everything in here is game worn. There it is. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> ah, yep, so do you. Yes. Oh, goodness. Oh, this one's actually pretty cool, too. I was so busy looking at that one, I didn't even bother to look at this one. Out of 35, Eduardo Escobar. Out of 25, Chipper Jones.
Dale Murphy. This next card is it's very nice. How about Teixeira and Sabatia? Well, Ricky, it would be a darn shame if the next card was a Yankee, too, then, wouldn't it? I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. Andy Pettit, out of 50. Out of 50, Bo Bichette. Last, but not necessarily least, J.D. Martinez, out of 25. Now for the fun part. All right, those are all of the cards shorthanded as best as I could. Start with you guys. Uh, yeah. It was a slim chance. Usually there's like one out of every three or four boxes. Uh, I think one of the last times we did one of these hit breaks, uh, that actually happened. And actually it was during quarantine. I had a random, uh, actually... 
Ricky, wasn't it your, um... No, it wasn't Ricky's. It was a dual auto redemption that I ended up randoming. Seven. Four. Oh. The Altuve goes to Scott K. The Belly goes to Robert N. Robert H. gets the Judge. Ryan L. gets the Sandberg. Timothy E. the Martinez. James H. the Murphy. Stephen T. the Kane. Ricardo D. the Harper Frame. Martin P. the DeGrom Auto out of 25. Chris G. the Teixeira Sabatia. Mark J. the Pettit. Douglas D. the Puck. Torrey, you got the Bichette. Scott K. the Yunt. Uh, James R., the Vlad Bow Redemption. Craig C., the DeGrom Auto Inscription out of 50. Thomas B., the Jones Auto out of 25. Uh, Adam G., the Cease Auto out of 25. Rita, the Pettit Musina. James D., the Chavez. Uh, Tori J., the Escobar. Will H. gets the Grace. Canseco goes to Scott K., and Fam goes to Scott H., All right, there you go. Fun, fun, fun. All right, Mike. You're welcome, Ryan. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I will. I will. I'm going to hopefully, if it doesn't rain, play some bocce. Uh, I honestly, I have fun hosting. I'm one of those people I really enjoy hosting. Um, I enjoy making food for people. Um, I'm not one of those like feeder fetish people, but I love seeing people eat. Like it makes me happy when other people are eating. Um, because there was a time in my life where I didn't get to eat every day. Um, so... I really enjoy uh, having people over and watching them eat. It uh, it makes me very happy. So I go I go all out. If you ever get an invite to to my house for a party, it's gonna be good. Uh sure, I'd do it, man. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. 
man. Uh, what is it? Buybacks last ultimate first. Yeah, man, I dig that. I could dig that. Let's hope both of these are missing a spacer in them. Thanks, McGinnis. Yeah, what well, food is <clears throat> Uh, food is something that I will never, I will always pay a premium for food. I will always get the best food. Um, I will always produce. Oh, absolutely, I agree with you. Um, you get what you pay for for food. There is no cheap, good food. It, it doesn't exist. It, and it doesn't exist for a reason. Because good quality uh, ingredients and products are expensive. Um, so while I don't ever necessarily spend a ton of money on myself for eating, if I have somebody over, they're getting the best of everything I possibly can. Um, so I spare, I spare no ex expense. If you're around me, you are going to be fat and happy. All right. This is for Mike. 1718. Ultimat Hockey. Good luck. Goudreau, 99. Thatcher Demko. Out of 199. Not sure that one worked out very well. Adrian Kemp. 149, Kempe, Kempe, Kemp, Kempia, Kompopo, Momo. And Charlie McAvoy. We'll go to 1920 ingrained. There's wood in here. There's two woodies in here. You've got double woody. Special, special boy. Two ninety nine stammer. Two ninety nine bluger. Wait for it. Two forty nine bluger. Uh. <laughs> this Woody is <laughs> it's a controversial Woody. <laughs> uh, this is one that I'm going to call. Oh, God, no. I almost said it. I almost called it something so bad. Whoo! Pump those brakes, DC. It is not. It is not the time for that joke. Keith to Chuck. Autographed, carved in time Woody. It smells like a campfire. Oh, they are. Claude Lemieux. 
Con Smythe winner, 94 95. It's funny, at this angle, Tops is basically pooping on upper deck. <laughs> Gotta hold it here. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> they're way off. That's not Mario. Uh, David Pastrami. So tomorrow, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys hungry while I open this. My charcuterie board is gonna have some really great, uh, fresh cut, um, prosciutto, as I had said. I will also have some uh, buffalo flavored cheese curd, a nice smoked gouda, a Vermont white cheddar, as well as some uh, dry red grapes, a cured white wine pepperoni sliced medium to thin out of $2.99 Kucherov, as well as a spicy red wine one. Kale Makar, $2.99. I, um, yeah, yeah, there is another Woody in there. I am in an apartment. We're waiting on our house. Um, I'm going to hold off for the smoker until I get my house, just out of the respect of my neighbors. But I will get one. Barrett Hayton, that is not a bad rookie signature shot right there. Out of 149. My dad is a smoker. He smokes chicken wings and salmon. I am, man, I'm a sucker for a good smoked salmon. Tastes like candy. Libor. This is a really good box. There are a decent decent set of autographs in here next one is Nico nice how about Cujo Told you. And Eric Stahl. All right, buybacks time. Marty Bradour. Out of 199. Out of 25, Martin Neckes. Young Gun Auto. Jean Sebastien Jiguer. Well, that's nice. Hughes, red. Out of 15, John Quick Canvas.
You're welcome. You are welcome. All right, uh, with that, I am going to go to lunch. And then when I come back, we're going to have an hour and a half, more, more than an hour and a half, of uh, straight personal breaks. Uh, blue? I don't. I don't think so. Uh, there is Gary. I'm gonna put the list up in a second. As soon as I punch out. Hey, Marcus, how are you doing, man? I feel like it's been a while since I've seen you. You doing okay? How's your health? How's the family? Uh, nope, definitely didn't. Uh, it will be when I get back from lunch. Good, good, Marcus. I like to hear that. I ask when I haven't seen people because uh, we've had two people that were gone for a few weeks and came back, ended up having uh, corona, one of them almost dying. Uh, so anytime somebody pops in that I haven't talked to in a while, especially one of my regs, I just want to make sure everybody in the family and they're, they're good. There are quite a few people that were daily regulars before this happened that I haven't heard from. So, it worries me. It really, truly does. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Uh, I gotta cut you loose, so I'll be back at uh, 20 after 11. I am going to uh, chug this bottle of water, and I think I'm gonna spoil myself uh, with a bag of voodoo chips, because, you know what? I deserve it. Alright, guys, I am walking away from the screen. Mike off. See you in 28.
Thank you. I will have that list in about three minutes. Four minutes. Thank you. What's up, Hoff? Oh, it was good. I just uh, looked at the interwebs and um, thought about what I'm going to do for tomorrow. I'm going to have to get up a little early. I like to do my pulled pork for about three to five hours, depending on how much I make. And I was doing a head count. It's going to be about ten people. So probably going to be closer to four hours, the amount I'm going to need to do. Uh, TG, I agree. I use uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. If you were curious. Uh, 
Um, I love soul food. I like cornbread. I love cornbread. I like cornbread when you take just a little bit of butter and you uh, you put it on a frying pan after it's been baked to cr to crust up the top and bottom, kind of like a steak. Just hit it, let it fry real fast, flip it, let it fry real fast, and boom, off and crunchy. Uh, juice, it's looking good. I eat multicultured. Hoff, shoot. I worked, uh, so the nightclub I worked at during the day was a soul food kitchen. Uh, one of the backup running backs for the Bill's mother ran it. And she would always look at me. She's like, I'm not going to do a voice because that probably would be racist. Um, but she would like, I would be running around. She would grab me by my shoulders and say, you are too skinny. Here's a plate. And it would be uh, collard greens with big fatty chunks of bacon in it. Uh, cornbread made properly. Um, short ribs. Uh, and what was the other thing she made? Short ribs were just phenomenal. Oh, sounds good, Ryan. One for you and I can. <laughs> Ronald Acuna. Um, yeah, put the order in now because what I'll do is I'll deliver it to the Dropbox for uh, the warehouse before I leave today. Um, just put in the note section, save for DC. That's it. Then he'll he'll know not to bother you to break it. All right, let me get these in order. There's a lot of them, but none of them are huge. So while it does look like I have a ton to do, they'll go by quick. Jesus, Romaldo, yours has been sitting there for a while. Oh, I already got yours, dude. I'm just saying it was sitting there for a while. Well, you know what happens to people who wait. Uh, mac, yep, mac and cheese, yep. All right, give me a few seconds. Uh, Ryan is, uh, for your order, hmm. 
Hmm. Give me a second. I'm not 100% sure I can process that. Oh God, I love Mighty Taco. It's my favorite in the world. I have my order memorized. They get the same thing every time I go. Ryan, I sent you an email. Oh, man, I'm not lying to you. I eat Mighty Taco at least once a week. At minimum. At minimum. Do, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to show the list. That is 99% accurate, what you see. You know, Blue, I will agree with you with one exception. The only exception for Taco Bell is the Cheesy Gordita Crunch. That's the only thing I'll eat there. Because it's... Almost perfect. Panda Express is a disgrace. I will not eat at Panda Express. I'm a... Uh, and the Diablo sauce, that's true. I'm a uh, sushi fanatic. Um, and because I am really deep into the sushi world, um, I am very picky about what... Chinese food place... I shouldn't say Chinese food. That's actually not the right term. Um, Asian food I eat. And Panda Express is off the list because that's just terrible. All right, Ryan.
Thank you, Wayne. No. <laughs> uh, the only thing that I had to do with uh, advertising for Geico uh, was I would do live in-person uh, like recruiting and giveaways and stuff. Um, I got to meet a bunch of famous people. It was kind of funny. Um... Like, they would send me places to give away stuff, and then they'd let me, like, stay at the game. Uh, I might have. I might have recruited the caveman. Uh, I was the gecko once. I was the dude in the suit once. One hundred percent authentic. All right, so with the last two that I was able to process and counting uh, Ryan's, uh, I am going to put a hard stop on orders. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the evening. That gives me about mm, eight minutes per, maybe a little less. Uh, no, man, I'll get it done by one. Believe me, I need to be out of here by one. Well, I will never be out of here by one. I need to be off the air by one. Uh, that's, that's a little too much right there, Blue. <laughs> Kay. Kay, if you order it, I will send it to you. Not broken. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Riel, I know that one. Uh, no, KZ, I mean, if you want one, I'll open it for you. I only have one. If you put it in right now, um, I will open it for you. It'll probably be the last break of the evening. I mean, it's up to you, man. Uh, but other than that, I'm, I'm offering you the last break. So if you take it, great. If not, no more orders. I am finished with orders. All right. With that said, Romaldo, you're up, man. Let's do it. Hey, 
Don't say everybody's witness. I got 53 witnesses here. Don't say I never offered. You know I was just messing with you last night too, right? I wasn't serious. I'm technically here until 1.30. So I'm usually just cleaning up afterwards. The only difference in me going over 1 o'clock means I've just got to clean faster. All right, Romaldo, 36 out of 50, Video Game Edition Series 6, Hit Parade Mystery Box. Fallout. You get to do your own little break here. You have a 1 in 12 chance of getting any one of those. So there you go. Do your own uh, Twitch box break. Cuddle Team Leader and the Love Ranger. Talking about the Love Ranger. High Rise Assault Trooper with plans. Oh, I plan on it. Mickey, Axel, and Shadow. And last but not least, for Super Nintendo, Kilbert. Wow, he was not lying. He said like 50% of these had cartridges in them. Legit original cartridges. And sure enough, there they are. Glowbug, I just cut it off, man. What are you looking to break? Because I did offer one person, and I guess it would be wrong if I didn't offer you that spot because they declined it. What are you looking for? And I can tell you if I got it. I'm working on getting you that system, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you can only buy the good one. Uh, do I have another Sterling? Give me one second to see if I have one. Because I know there's one here. Uh, yeah, I have one left. You can have it. All right, Danica, while I'm not 100% sure you waited this long, I do have your order. If you have list waited this long, you're a rock star.
All right, I'm going to take that as a you took four hours too long silence. People don't realize how busy I am. She said she was new, so I can't can't blame her for that one. Uh, so I'll just email it to her. All right, this one is for Danica. Uh, Danica. It is 11.53 p.m. Eastern. I am just now getting to your break. That is how busy we are on Fridays. But I want to make sure I got you the video. Uh, Hit Parade graded Comic 2020 Signature Edition Series 3, 15 out of a hundo. Good luck. Well, they say good things come to those who wait, and indeed, Amazing Spider-Man, 122, The Death of Green Goblin. This is autographed by John Romita and Stan Lee. Stan Lee is right there. John Romita is right there. And it's an 8.5. That is the big hit out of one of the big hits out of this run. So congratulations. You are a big winner. And Jesse is the king of rituals. See, told you good things come to those who wait. Nice. I do good work. All right, Hoff, that'll be ready for you on Monday, bud. I'm printing it right now.
Hey, Bourbon. What's up, man? You're welcome, man. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time, man. I guarantee. All right, Joseph. Are you ready? What do you want to see first? All right. For Joe. Hit Parade graded Silver Dollar Series 3 Gold Bar Edition. 88 out of a hundo. I mean, I hope it's not a bounty. I hope he hits something really nice and doesn't have to get the bounty. It is a 1922 MS-63. It is indeed a bounty. All right, after we open your box, I will go ahead and have you choose. So let's get this out of the way. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Video Game Edition Series 6, 40 out of 50. Oh, he's not going to be spinning a wheel. He's going to be picking a box. Tower Recon Specialist, complete with freckles and pickaxe. Goofy in Halloween Town. Redding. Soldier for a soldier. High Rose Assault Trooper. That's a pocket pop. Raptor. Mario Brothers. Classic arcade series on the NES. That is the five screw. Tabs are in actually decent shape. Uh, yeah, they do. They do great video games. And last but not least, <laughs> this is great. Nintendo Power Vert Volume 27. Mega Man in Dr. Wily's Revenge, a Game Boy Mega Hit.
So not bad, man. Seven items. Alright, man, you get to pick a box now for your bounty. Let me just go grab one real quick. Red, white, or blue? Take your pick. Man, I have no idea why they wouldn't do that. No idea. Can? Not 100% sure what that is. You have to find out. Oh, I know exactly what this is now. Uh, this is a Funko big boy figure in a can. They're limited to only 7,500 each. There you go. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. Don't thank me. You can thank Hit Parade. Next time, uh, one of these days, I am going to have Tony come over. Uh, and do like a guest spot, hang out with us for a little bit so you guys can actually talk to Tony, pick his brain about some of the things that he creates. Uh, he's floated the idea of crashing my show. I was like, dude, if you want to come over, come on over. Uh, Bourbon, unfortunately, I am, uh, booked for the night. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna hang on uh, till all of this is over, if I manage to get through it fast, I may be able to squeeze one more in. But uh, two, four, six, eight more breaks to go, and only fifty-three minutes to do it in. So hang, hang out, man. He's got to bring giveaways with him? Uh, sure, probably would.
here's what I'll tell you. I do have gold standard first off the line. I got three of those. Buybacks, I only have one. Yeah, I only have one. Uh, Ed, are you ready? Oh, yeah, man. I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. And then, especially because it's Friday. Um, I usually cut it shorter Friday because... I wouldn't want somebody to buy something and then all of a sudden be like, yeah, I can't do it till Monday. That would just be the worst ever. I would be universally hated for that. All right, Swayze's ready. They just uh, deal out some boxes real quick. What do you want to see first? Brother, I'm going to... Oh, it is. Uh, no joke, I'm not exaggerating. My charcuterie board will probably cost $70. No, no joke. Um, it'll like $15, just 15 about $15, just for uh, the... Um, prosciutto by itself. Sure, you can. Uh, while you're doing that, okay, that's that's exactly the question. All right, go for it. Lazy Swayze is getting a hit parade 2020 pop vinyl. When you wish upon a pop vinyl edition, one out of fifty. Hey, look at that! I didn't even realize that. It's the first of the run. Let's see what's inside. It's Pacha. From the Emperor's New Groove. Kronk was great. Right up my alley. Leave Ultimate Wrestling 2020. Oh, yeah. Well, that $15 is because I get a third of a pound. Uh, it's 15 for a third. It's about 45 a pound. Um, not everybody in my family loves prosciutto. It's basically for me, my brother Nate, my brother Ryan, uh, and maybe my sister will take one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's my younger twin brother's birthday. Um, so yeah, I get I get a third of a pound. I don't get a, a whole pound. I have too much other stuff to warrant that. Uh Vampiro. I love prosciutto. If I remember, I'll find out the name of it. 
Britt Baker. Demolition X. I liked I liked X and Smash. Those dudes were great. That whole cradle uh cradle the dude and drop off the top rope, that was dope. No, no, no. My younger twin brothers. Out of 25, Flip Gordon. Uh, this was Ultimate Wrestling by Leaf. Now, this one. This is a great card. This is a really great card. Out of 35, Cowboy Bob Orton, Jr. Ooh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Buddy, buddy, pal, friend, homie. My dude. How about a redemption for an original art one of one? So you're going to get one of the originals that the artists use to make the cards. Just says personalities will be awarded randomly at time of fulfillment. All right. That's a nice way to top off that break. Yeah, man. It's just wrestling in general. It's everything. Uh, sketch card, hockey. Have I seen a hockey sketch card? To my knowledge, I haven't seen one, but I'm 90% certain there is one. I think the masterpieces, you can hit the 101 masterpiece. But don't quote me on that. You're welcome. Yep, that's a true sketch. I, I oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think the original masterpieces uh, had them. I don't know if they have them now, but I know back in the day, I believe they were around. See, there you go, right there. He pulled one from masterpieces. Exactly. Uh, Bourbon, I can't guarantee it'll open tonight. That's what I'm saying. I can't guarantee it opens, it'll, it'll open tonight. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, I'll, I'll let you know once I get through most of these, I'll be able to gauge my time better. But right now, I still got seven breaks left. All right, TJ. I mean, if you want to put it in, put it in. Worst case scenario, it's it's Monday. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. All right, this is for TJ, 2020 Tops Archive 6 Series. Retired edition. Got a brand new razor blade for my knife, and it's like butter. Juan Gonzalez. It's out of 99. Come 
Come on, Hank Aaron. Out of 96, Eric Chavez. Not Hank Aaron. But that's okay. We've got some luminaries. Baseball. 2020. Aki. It's just better if you don't know. Thanks for playing, though. Oh, you don't know if it's good or bad? All right. Well, to shed some light on my erratic behavior, uh, it's a 5 out of 15 Acuna autographed jersey patch card. Oh, he's like, oh, that's all? <laughs> yeah, that was it, man. That's why I figured you really wouldn't care. I figured it would be no big deal. That's why, you know, it's, it's better that you don't know. You're welcome. Oh, it's a, it's a great looking card. Wait till you see it in person. Well, you'll never see it in person, but uh, wait till TJ sees it in person. All right, Chris, are you ready? <laughs> Blues like yawn. Christopher B. There he is. Yes. Wasn't sure if you still hung around. All right. This is for Chris. 1920 Trilogy. Clay Keller. Lynn 
Lindgren, Dante Fabro, four ninety nine, rookie jersey, Taylor All. Brady Keeper. Uh, Samantha Fox out of nine ninety nine. Connor McDavid. That's strange. All the cards are on the other side. Hopefully that's a good thing. Kale McCarr out of nine ninety nine. Yeah, that was a good thing. Ilya Mikheyev out of three ninety nine. All right, last pack. Stillman out of seven ninety nine and Captain Jack Eichel rounding out the box. Uh, we actually use these ourselves for shipping. We keep them. There is a box behind me that we throw them in. That and the inside foam from the uh, buybacks. Uh, if you get large orders from us, you've probably seen those in your orders before. Mike, the time is nigh. Let me just combine both of these, save some space, make sure they get shipped together. Trilogy first. This is for Mike. We've got some more trilogy.
Kowalik. Max Jones. Out of 9.99. Kale McCarr out of 4.99. That's a level two. Nico Sir Abramoff, three ninety nine Hughes Capo Caco, four ninety nine. All right, last pack, box one. Brenstrom, nine ninety nine. Barrett Hayton, four ninety nine. Sandin, nine ninety nine. Brent Burns and his beard. Teddy Bluger, nine ninety nine. Dante Fabro, level three out of two ninety nine. Ooh, there's something good in here. The King. Mikhail Granlund. Mmm, Blue's got tacos. Breeze Blah. Sension out of three ninety nine. And on to stature. Forsberg. Haas. Three ninety nine Esposito, one forty nine Bork, seventy five out of forty nine Max Jones. Nope. Need to go.
going to size up. How about Dominic Kubalik out of nine? That's a good hit to have right now. As his star rises. Uh, no, it's actually a fairly small box. We go through them very regularly. We go through them very regularly. Taves. Burns. Kotkaniemi. Sorella. 399. Lundquist, 99. Stahl, 75. Marchand, 75. Trevor Moore. Out of only 45 that is Cal McCarr I like the creepy ref over his shoulder I see dead people they don't even know they're dead Teshe It is. It's nice regardless. I wish it had ink on it, too. And I wish the ink came from Kale's pen. Or marker. You are welcome again. All right, trying to move it right along. Wayne. plan on it. Uh, Bourbon, yours is looking good. This is for Wayne 2020. Optic. Don Russ first off the line. These cards are either out of 99 or 79, with the exception of the hits. Soto. Reynolds. There's Harper. Brian Abreu. That's going to be four out of seven. 
Uh, Cody, we are done for the night. Uh, however, you can go to the website, dacardworld.com. Uh, we have breaks next week, and we do personal breaks Monday through Friday uh, from about 2 p.m. to 1, p uh, 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Nick Solak, rookie auto out of 35. All right, pack one. Dwayne Underwood. It's going to be out of 25. Mick Madrigal. That's going to be seven out of just 10. Bowman Sterling. I just did a case of this stuff. Why can I suddenly not hold it? My goodness, man. Puck. Brown. Morjan. Willie Wilson. Out of 150. Sammy Siani. It's popped up quite a few times in the earlier breaks. Popular signature in the set. And by that, I mean he signed a lot of cards. It's uh, Nolan Jones, Brandon McKay, Yamamoto, and that guy.
Julio Rodriguez out of 99. J.J. Blade, there's a solid hit. McKay is nice. All right, last mini box. May. Vargas, another popular one. friend there you go Phil Hughes. Because I pulled a Jordan Alvarez Boba Shet out of three today. Someone's is lower. You too, Wayne. John, Europe. Uh, nope, yours is still still uh, in line. Uh, John, it is yours. Uh, Rollade, I didn't even see you have one in. I didn't know you had one in. All right, this one is for John. We've got some 1920 buybacks, two of them to be exact. We're going to kick it off with a Kel McCarr out of 199. And we're going to follow it up with a 4 out of 5 Kyler Yamamoto. Out of 199, Bobby Orr.
out of 25, Connor Hellbook. Young Gun. All right, man, you are welcome. Do you have an invoice number? Because I grabbed everything that was marked break live. Alex, are you ready? If you sign into your account, you can go to your orders and your order number will be there. Uh, they are new. This is for Alex Bowman Sterling, 2020. Alec Manoa. one right there. I think it's out of 75. Out of 75, Jordan Yamamoto. JJ Blade out of just 99. That's a solid hit right there. one of these we pulled today sterling first signs uh it is a picture of them now and a picture of them when they were younger side by side that one's out of 99 sam huff
Dominguez. Signs All right, last mini. Let's get something gold. Bobby Witt Jr., Nolan Gorman, out of 199, Andy Pages, out of 125, all right, Trav, you enjoy that, buddy. Alzale and Grisham. All right, friend. Yeah, I uh it wasn't marked break live. Um I've only got 3 minutes. There's no way I can get through all four of those items. But what I can do is I can make sure that it is in the rotation early uh for Monday. All right, Ryan, I got yours, man. <laughs> All right.
I can do that, kid. Hello, Iken. How are you, my dear? I hope you and the family are doing just as good as possible. Ryan has been popping in and saying hello. So this is for Ryan and Iken. Uh, Hit Parade Graded Coin Series 2 All-American Edition, 43 out of a hundo. And the Graded Silver Dollar Series 4 Ancient Edition. That's 10 out of a hundo. Nineteen seventy six proof sixty nine, and that is oh, the bicentennial, eh? It is the bicentennial. This one is clad. There you go. That one's cool. And then. A 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar MS-62. my friends <laughs> you guys take care it is always good to hear from both of you specifically and may everybody continue to be safe over in your household I just, I love the Morgans. They're just better looking. That's my opinion. Uh, bourbon. Are you still hanging around? Take care, Hoff. Excellent. That worked out perfect then. Bourbon. No? Did you leave? You are welcome, man. You take care. Be safe, both of you. All right, I'll take that as a no. Well, I'm getting out of here. I am five minutes late. I will see you all Monday. I love each and every one of you, and I want you to be safe. So take care of yourselves, and uh, have a good one. Oh, I will, Mike. I will. <laughs>